Today the topic of discussion is free data structure and we are going to study deleting a node from BST. Prior to this we have understood what is BST. After that we have understood what is find algorithm, how to search an element in BST and then we have learned about how to add an element in BST and now our job is to delete a node from BST and deleting a node has three conditions. Deleting a node having zero child. I'm deleting a node having only only no child. I'm deleting a node which is having no child. Okay. Deleting a node having one child. I'm deleting a node which is having one child and again I'm deleting a node having two child. So there are three conditions. We are going to discuss all these three conditions. So let's start. Okay. So this is the binary search tree. You can clearly see this is a binary search tree and there is some code which is generic and which is uh, common to all the three conditions so let's understand this code deleting node from my research tree let's start okay so this code you have already learned in a while a while i was uh, explaining adding a node so this is code will tell you what uh, where where to delete so now I, I start with three conditions suppose i need to delete the first condition is what the first condition is deleting a node having no child eight is a node having no child even 12 is also a node having no child, 16 is having a node, so I am considering only 8, you can consider any node you want. But the first condition is node you want to delete having no child. The moment I delete 8, what will happen? Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. What change will come? Is 10. 10 was having a left address. Suppose this node is having a address 100. Okay, now let me make this as a doubly linked list or node structure let me make a node structure what will happen the moment i delete 8 what will happen suppose address of this was 200 so the left was having 200 fine the left was having 200 the moment i delete this what will happen the left pointer instead of having 200 will have null fine so this will the only change fine so if i'm deleting a node having one zero child then its parent will have null value fine okay so this is what i wanted to tell you now second i want to delete a node having what one child suppose i'm having seven over here definitely seven will come here seven will be the left child of eight fine because seven is less than eight now i want to delete eight now eight is a node having one child the moment i delete eight the question comes who will take care of seven obvious this is the biggest question if eight goes then who will take care of seven so i'll check eight is left child of its parent or right child so i saw that eight is left child of its parent so this child of eight will become the left child of what uh, the parent of eight so the moment i delete eight what will happen the seven will become the left child of what 10 fine so this 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 will only take place so what am i trying to tell you is that uh, suppose this this is this node is 200 having address this node is having address 100 uh, 300 and this node is having address 100 so this left pointer was having what 200 the moment i delete 8 so now this will have 300 this means this will point to 7 fine so nothing big will happen only this change will happen now comes the third question the third question is what if i am deleting a node having two child suppose i am deleting a 20 suppose i am deleting 15 suppose i am deleting 10 then what will happen so let's take an example of 20 am i deleting a node 20 then who will take care of 20 who will take care of these two child of 20 18 and 13 so what will happen i'll find the in order successor what is in order of bst i told you very clearly that in order of bst is increasing order of numbers so what are different numbers 8 10 12 15 16 18 19 20 and 30 now see the in order successor of 20 the in order successor of 20 is what 30 the moment i want to delete 20 this place will be taken by what 30 the in order successor so what will happen 30 will come over here so what is 30 30 is a node having no child so first i will delete 30 and what i'll do i'll insert 30 over here fine so this will take place now suppose i want to delete 15 now my question is with you what will come in the place of 15 
15 see the in order successor of 15 16 so 16 will take place of what 16 so this element will take place of what 15 so 16 will be the new parent of 10 and 20 fine so why this this is the formula the the in order successor will take the place of that so i've tried my level best to explain you the theoretical part let me tell you the coding part now okay let's start with the coding part and let's start with the coding part and the coding part is that i've created two pointer t and f fine int value uh, uh, it's a integer value uh, variable fine t is equal to root so what happened t come here t comes over here let's see it very clearly fine root is equal to null no root is not null because root is pointing to 15 address of 15 suppose address of 15 is 100 so root is not null so the moment root is null i'll simply write binary search is empty okay because tree is not empty because i'm seeing that tree is not empty fine okay i again came here t is not null yes t is not null because t is having value 100 yes and t info is greater than data now suppose i want to delete 8 suppose i want to delete 8 so data is what data is 8 is t info what is t info 15 is not equal to data yes t is not null and t info is not equal to data fine yes i what i did f is equal to t f is also pointing to t okay so this is what i have explained you earlier is data less than t info data is what 8 8 is less than t info what is t info 15 yes less what you do t is equal to t left put t to the t left t came here t came here fine f is there and t came here now what happened i'll not come outside i'll again check while condition t not null yes t is not null because t is having address of 10 fine t info what is t info 10 is not equal to data what is data 8 yes 10 is not equal to it. condition again true f is equal to t now f and t both are pointing to the same position fine okay data which you are having 8 is less than t info yes 8 is less than t info because t info has 10 and data is 8 yes t it becomes t left t came over here so t becomes t left t came here fine t came here now i again go up and check is t not null yes t not null is t info not equal to data now condition becomes false why condition becomes false because t info is 8 and data is also 8 so condition becomes false 8 is not equal to 8 false 8 is equal to 8 condition becomes false i come out is t null no t is not null because t is having a value because t is having address of 8 so i came what what i did the general general thing what i did generally what i did if you want to delete any node so by this code what we understood is that if you want to delete any node then t points to that node fine if you want to delete any node then t points to that node and what f points to f points to the parent of t fine what i'm trying to tell you is that again listen to me if you want to delete a node then by running this code t is pointing to the to which node t is pointing to the node you want to delete and which and what is f f is pointing to a node f is pointing to a node what which node f is pointing to a node where the parent of t exists fine okay let's let's move and see this first condition deleting a node having zero child fine now i'm going to delete a node having a zero child suppose i'm deleting node 18 this this red node fine delete 18 the moment i delete 18 what will happen nothing will happen only the left pointer of 20 will contain null so see this is t left is equal to null and t right equal to null what where is t the here is t i already told you the moment you run the previous code t will come here and f will come here is t is t left is equal to null yes t left is null is t right null yes t is right null so t is a node having no child fine okay so this condition becomes true i came inside i come inside is data you want to whatever you want to uh, delete uh, if data is less than f info what is f f is the node uh, parent to t is data data is what 18 D data you want to delete is 18 is 18 less than f info what is f info 20 yes condition true what do you do f left f left this pointer contains what null so obvious when this will go so f left will contain null so you can clearly see this f left is containing what null fine so this is the simplest code this is one of the simplest code i cannot explain you better than this this is one of the simplest code nothing happens 
Now come to the second condition. Second condition is that you want to delete a node having only one child. Having only one child. Let's see this code. And I want to delete 25. What is 25? 25 is a node having one child. The child is 30. So the question comes, who will take care of 30? So this code will take care. Let's see. Uh, what is T? T is pointing to the node you want to delete. And what is F? F is pointing to the parent of T. Fine. Okay. From where you got this? You got this from previous code. Okay. Now, is T left not null? T left is null t left is null condition becomes what false the moment condition becomes false and if one of the condition of and gate become false the whole condition is false so you will not execute this code you come out and execute this code if t left is equal to null yes t left is equal to null this condition become true and t right is not null yes definitely t right is not null because t right contains ad ad address of 30 yes condition true the condition becomes true the condition becomes true so you come inside the code and what do you do is data data is what 25 is less than f info oh no 25 is not less than f info because f info is 20 so you, you comes come to the else part f right f right f right this contains t right what is t right 30 so f right will have value of t right fine so f right will have this t point and after that what am i doing is that free t free t i'm i'm deleting what is free function free function deletes there are three functions, four functions, malloc, calloc, malloc, calloc allocates the memory, realloc, reallocate the memory and free delete the memory created by these functions. Fine. So this is what I wanted to tell you. I hope you understood very well. So free t will what this free, the, the, the next figure clearly shows that, that 20 right child is now 30. Fine. Okay. So and then this is what I've already told you. I've already told you everything. In a first slide, I will have already told you. Now move to the third condition. This is the third condition. Deleting a node having two child. Now the biggest question is uh, the node having two child. That suppose you want to delete 20. And I've already told you. The moment you delete 20, the biggest question come who will take care of 18 and 30. So I told you the moment you delete node having two child, that its place is taken by its in order successor. And what is in order? The in order of any BST is increasing order of that nodes. So increasing order is what? 8, 12, 8, sorry, 10, 12, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20 and 30. So by this in order, I can see if I want to delete 20, the in order successor of 20 is 30. So 30 will take the place. So th my first job is to delete 30. And what is 30? 30 is a node having zero child. I'm, and we have already studied this concept. We have uh, already studied the algorithm of deleting a node having a zero child. Fine. So uh, see the see this algorithm is very easy. Fine. So let's start. What is T? T is pointing to this node. Fine. Now T is pointing to this node. Fine. Okay. What is F? F is pointing to this node. Now I'm not using F because I'm using F somewhere else. No issue. Let's see first. Is T left not equal to null? Yes. T left is not null because T left is having information of 18. Condition true. Is T right not equal to null? T right. Yes. T right is also null, not null. Fine. Because T right is having information of 30. This means T is a node having two child. Fine. This means T is a node having two child. Okay. Then what do you do? Put f to the t right put f to the t right i am putting f to the t right f is here now what am i doing here is i am trying to find in order successor of 20 with this code these three lines of code gives you in order successor fine okay let's see while f left is not null f left f left is null already null condition becomes false the moment condition becomes false you will not execute this statement and you come out the moment you come out the f, what is f clearly f is the node what is f f is the node having in order successor of t and you can see that the 20 the in order successor of 20 is what 30 clear you what do you do put value put in a variable value f info what is f info 30 you put 30 over here then what you do you are deleting 30 you are calling a del node function del node what 30 and what is 30 30 is a node 30 is a node having zero child so this will go to the first function which i have already told you it will go and what it will do it will put 
the the right of 20 it will put the right of 20 null what will come over here null the moment you delete 30 what will happen the right child of 20 will be null fine so this del node will and only do this the right child of 20 will become null now what you are doing t info what is t this place info is this place will have what value and what is there in value 30 the moment you do this what will come 30 will come over here fine so see the code see see the diagram so this node is now what becomes 30 and the right child is already deleted and everything is 